What's the digital twin and the digital thread? And why is it so important for collaboration today? Let's talk about that next. All right, so let's talk about the digital twin and the digital thread. Um, these are two terms that are used a lot in the industry today. Uh, and as a matter of fact, the digital twin has a few different definitions. Um, some people use it to describe when you're collecting IoT sensor data and you're kind of using that to mimic the behavior of a real world physical product. And that's valid, uh, that's a good definition. Today, however, we're gonna be using a different definition, which is a digital twin describe is the complete digital definition of a product. Uh, and that obviously is very, very important in product development. Uh, so let's, let's look at exactly what's involved with that. Today's products are composed of, well, content from a lot of different engineering domains. I mean, you certainly have mechanical hardware, uh, but as we transition to smart connected products, you're seeing a lot of electronic hardware, whether that's circuit boards or sensors or a lot more. Uh, you also have these electrical distribution systems, right? That's delivering signals uh, around the product or delivering power to different electrical endpoints. You also have a lot of software definitions. This is one area of explosive growth in smart connected products. So this is another digital definition that's out there. Uh, we also have systems definitions. So as a means to mitigate the rising complexity of these smart connected products, a lot of people, a lot of companies are defining definitions that are across uh, engineering domains so that they can make sure that they're keeping track of everything. And of course, not everything is on the product. Um, obviously, we're seeing a lot of connectivity, a lot of data streaming to cloud solutions. Um, and this really does need to be considered part of the product. It's part of the product configuration. So collectively, this is the digital definition of a smart connected product. Okay, so let's be really, really clear. Um, everybody is creating this digital twin of their product today. Um, this isn't something brand new. This isn't something that um, is kind of crept up on everyone. I think the thing that is different now and why there's more awareness around this concept is because of the interplay between engineering domains, especially with systems. Uh, you make a change to the circuit board footprint, that affects the enclosure that it goes into. Uh, you make a change to the aesthetic surface uh, for the product is going to affect lots of different mechanical pro uh, parts, but also other stuff as well. Um, if you change the uh, networking protocol you're using in your electrical distribution system, that affects all the electronics in there. And of course, if you make changes to your software, that has to be compatible uh, with the circuit board that you're running uh, within the product. So, the reason why this is becoming so important is because there's this interplay between engineering domains, all these different ones, and there's a lot of integration problems today. And if everybody works in their domains and their silos, and they don't know what's going on in other domains, when you hit prototyping and testing, you're gonna have failures. <laughs> that's gonna induce lots of cost and delays um, and that's increasingly becoming a problem. But actually, what we've shown you so far is not the complete picture of the digital twin. A lot of what we just talked about relates to design definitions. Uh, but that's not really the only deliverables that you create as part of the development process. You have all sorts of documentation deliverables. You have all sorts of manufacturing deliverables. You have many different deliverables for quality, uh, as well as service. Now, a key thing to be aware of is here is that, of course, you're gonna have initial versions that you use to create these derived deliverables that are used throughout the development process. But that is not static. Uh, those change uh, over time. So if you have a change there, 
that needs to propagate all the way down these drive deliverables. Uh, and that's crucial because if you're not able to propagate that, then you're gonna be working off the wrong data within different functional departments. This concept that there is uh, a set of derived deliverables that are interconnected, this is the digital thread, right? This is the idea that these things are interconnected, but also that you need to be able to push change and propagate change down the digital thread uh, so that you can keep everybody up to date. All right, so that is the concept of the digital thread. And actually, what we just walked through was applicable to mechanical components. You have the same sort of digital thread that is that exists for all those other domains as well. Uh, and it's crucial that you be able to manage that. So this is why this concept of a digital twin, kind of this increasing awareness in the industry that, hey, you have definitions in every engineering domain some of them are interconnected. You need to be able to manage change for that. And then each design deliverable has a set of derived deliverables that are used in the rest of the development process. Those two concepts are kind of bubbling up. People are becoming more and more aware of that and the explicit need to manage that throughout the development process. So that's the idea behind a digital twin, the comprehensive digital definition of your product and the digital thread that there are interconnected deliverables, derived deliverables for all the design things that you have in your product. That's it. Take care and talk soon.